Great day to be a Rebel. Uh, I'm excited that we are going to have another opportunity to uh, um, get UL. I know um, it was a tough loss earlier this, this afternoon, but um, we're excited about being in the Italy Blues tomorrow and, um, you know, getting another opportunity. We know we got to win two. It's not like we haven't played a doubleheader on a Sunday, so um, it's just nothing new for us. So we're excited about having that opportunity. Team played well today. Ah, uh, you said it. Outstanding. I mean, it really has. I mean, they've they've given us an opportunity to win every ball game. I mean, the first one um, on opening night, you know, you put up those type of runs. You know, pitching will help out. And today, I thought Molly pitched a great ball game. We just didn't help her out um, at the plate and defensively. And this afternoon, you know, I ch we challenged him. You know, let's throw the first punch and keep going at him. <laughs> he put up an eighth spot, and that that really helped settle some nerves. I don't know if it's Finney that gets those runs or whatever it is, but uh, um, it's nice to be able to to take that uh, that opening inning, especially being a little bit different, hitting first instead of uh, being on the field at your home place. So um, it was good. Abby, your home run kind of set a tone in the first inning. What did you see on that pitch? Um. I was down on the count, and I knew that I was kind of fouling balls off, and so I knew that she wanted probably to come into the zone since she was kind of biting around it a little bit. And so I just, even though I had two strikes on me, I still wanted to put a good swing on the ball. And I don't know, I was just trying to put a good swing on it. She's humble. She crushed that ball. I mean, I, I literally watched that. I mean, that ball was hit a long way. I mean, it could be in humble. I mean, seriously. I, I pointed that ball. That that ball was high as well as it was far. I mean, she got all of it. So quit being humble over there. Did you watch it go over the tent? Uh, I mean, I I knew I hit it pretty good. So I just kind of just got into my jog. And I'm proud of her. She didn't bat flip. So I'm proud of her. You know. There was no bat flip there. So that's good. <laughs> Why'd you have to bring that up? <laughs> I know it's media. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's pattern. Um, and it's in the back of the head. I mean, I I thought about it after we put up those runs in the first game. Um, you know, it's kind of been that way. But, um, you know, we'll just chalk it up to that's part of the game and we'll roll with it. I don't think there's any conspiracy theory out there or whatever the case may be we just we just have to come out and play Ole Miss softball I mean that's really what we have to do um, if we can swing the bats the way we did the first game and and tonight's game you know we've got a shot I mean you got to tip your cap I mean UL's pitcher can she's good I mean she's got 200 and something innings and they go to her I mean it's it's kind of similar to what we did with Caitlin Lee in 2017 so we know we're going to be into it for a dog fight tomorrow I mean if you're not in a regional, and, and we know that UL's, I mean, they won 50 games for a reason. So um, we just have to come ready to play. Um, you know, they're good, we're good. You know, to be the best, you got to play the best. And for us to get to a super regional, we got to play the best team that's out there right now. They're better than us because they have one more win than us. So, uh, well, I guess that's not true. We have two now, but they have one less loss. So um, we just have to be ready to play tomorrow. Uh, sleep on it. I'll let you guys wonder what we're going to do. That's my job, right? You guys make give me the tough questions, and I'll leave you the uh, the question marks for your stories. I like the, well, we'll see which way they go today. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Molly pitched a great ball game. I'm sure that that's what they're thinking. Um, you know, either one's going to be ready to go. I know both of them want it. So we know we have to play two games. So one's going to get one game, and when we win that first one, the other one will probably get the second one. Yeah, um, yeah. We 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 knew that. I mean, we had the lead. You know, we've got confidence in in Ava, and um, I know she only threw three innings the other night, and I wasn't sure how many pitches she had. I know the illegal pitches kind of. She she threw a couple extra than she had to, but it's been hot and stuff. So yeah, just giving her an opportunity to get out of there and rest and be ready to throw tomorrow. 
So I'm proud of what these girls have done, though. I mean, any team that could come back on a tough loss like that, um, you know, they got a chance to kind of cool off a little bit, watch a little bit of the game we were playing and watching some of the other games from regionals. And I'm proud of what they did. And, you know, Abby set the tone with that home run. That was big. That was big to be able to set that tone early, and we just kept pouring it on. And anytime you can go to their bullpen um, three or four times in one inning, our offense has done a really good job. So kudos to them for what they did today. For the two of you, what do you do now? Do you go back and watch video from earlier and kind of learn from what Summer threw you? Yeah, we definitely just go back and watch film and kind of just – I like to slow-mo it and just see how I missed it or whatnot. And I definitely think everyone's going to go back, watch it, and make adjustments for tomorrow because we're definitely facing her for a fact. Yeah, I like to go back and see the sequences. So I don't – I mean, I'll look at my swing a little bit, but I like to see, like, the sequence that she pitched me and how – and what count, like, what did she throw and um, what did she use to get ahead and stuff like that. And so I'll go back and – see the sequence because obviously she was successful so I expect her to go back to the same sequence and if I'm prepared for it she probably hopefully won't beat us again the, the same sequence. How hard is it to recognize her drop off? Um, I'd say it's a pretty I mean it's a good pitch obviously it's a good pitch she's a good pitcher um, I just think it's not focusing on like what pitch we swing at, but where it is. So she has a drop ball that's elevated and a drop ball that's not elevated. So it's just deciding on what height you want to swing at. Um, either way, you're going to get the drop ball because she can throw for a ball in a strike. And so I just feel like better pitch selection on our side um, to handle that pitch. Good answer. <laughs>